So once you log in, you will be greeted with this screen. This is the landing page for DWC trial. And you will see uh, this is the bar where we have notification which says trial ends in 30 days and you can buy more days. Basically, you have to buy a server to continue using it if you want to use it for commercial purposes. Here you will get all the notifications basically. Whatever the notification may be, you will get it here. And this one is for support. So if you want to create a support user, uh, you want to contact SAP support, you can use this and the download log. Uh, if you want to see what browser session had, uh, you can use this. And this is very nice feature of help. You can click here and it will, you know, point to all the options which are available and you can always click like this and you will get the details of that particular box. The information which is given is very useful. So you can try them whenever you feel that you don't understand something. This is uh, your ID profile and here you can switch between SAP Analytics Cloud and SAP Data Warehouse Cloud. So, so we have both of these available in the same access. Here you can send feedback, you can check out SAP blogs and if you will be using any files, it will show up here. And from here, you can quickly go to some actions like create space or build data, or you can learn more about them. We'll see what are these once we get to it. And here you may have some resources provided by SAP. So it may update, may not update. It is with SAP. And here uh, we see a lot of options. So let me expand this so it'll be easier to understand. So here we have a lot of options. First one is home, which is this screen. Next is Repository Explorer. So here you get to see all the objects which are available in your system. So this is very crucial and very important. Right now we don't have anything, so it's blank. Then we have set of apps which are available and we have few more items here. So let me cover these first. Space management. And obviously we'll be covering all of these in future section in detail. Here we are just having a quick walkthrough. So here you can see space management. Uh, what you can do is you can create your own space here. So it is like if you are from HR department, if you are from sales department, if you are from finance department, each department can create their own space and use it. So it will be their workspace basically. Space is nothing but workspace, which we normally use as a terminology. So here they have referred to it as space management. We'll see, we'll create space and see what are the options available. So basically you want to create your own workspace or for yourself and your team member, you can create it. So you can click here and create a space. We'll create that. Content network, there's something which is given by SAP and you can leverage it. So if you are from SAP BW background, you will understand that we have a BI content, standard BI content. Similar to that, we have here a few samples few business contents and third party business content is also available now. So we can leverage them and we'll see how we will use it throughout the course. Security is where you have users, roles, activities. So we'll go into it and see what are the options available in later section. Transport. Transport is again very important. You want to move objects. Once you create, you build object, you want to move to another system, production system, testing system those kind of stuff you want to do so you can import and export objects. Configure here we have a lot of options like data provisioning if I want to provision a data from some system like S4 HANA. So I have to provision agent and then use it. So we'll create an agent as well and we'll try to connect to a system. We have security options. You can upload certificates. Basically when you are connecting system, SAP DWC wants to understand whether that's a trusted partner or not. So for that, you have to upload certificates, which we'll be doing. And you can activate audit logs. You can monitor the system. You can maintain a IP list. Only those IPs will have access to the system. You can have task logs. You can check them and you can delete them. All those things we can do here. You can create database access users as well. We'll see it later. SAP BW Bridge is something which is not available in trial system. Uh, what it does is 
it is a bridge between sap bw your old bw system and dwc you can replicate few of the objects from sap bw to dwc so for that sap bw bridge is available and it is not available in trial system as of now and here about section is basically the details of the system you can check out uh, now let's go to apps so apps uh, we have you know option of connections so what we can do is for each space which will be creating here we can try to build connections so we have to create a dp agent for on prem systems and we have to maintain connections here so we will be trying to maintain connections and see how it works data integration monitor here you can monitor your uh, replicated tables which we will see later data access control is when you want to maintain security for data how and who will have the access of your data which will be maintaining here in data access control data builder is something where you will be spending a lot of time so here what happens is you create the first step once you create the space this is the first step which you will do you will be building data basically you will be creating views you can uh, you will be creating sql queries and we'll see the details of those once we get to it here we don't have space so i can't show you here but obviously in data builder section we'll create all the items and you will see what are the options available there business builder is something available for business people so what sap says is we'll have data builder separate from business builder so we'll have data builder which will be nothing but it team and business builder which will be nothing but business side so business side people also can use this system and create their own reports so we'll be seeing what are the options available under business builder once we create space you will see all the options which are available so this was a quick walk through of uh, sap data warehouse cloud trial system we'll be going into more details of each section and we'll try to create new objects and see how it works i will see you in next section thank you